In the world of sports, where both success and failure are common, few stories are as striking as Henry Ruggs III's. He was once seen as a future football great, but everything changed after one critical decision. Come with us as we explore how this one choice turned his dream career into a nightmare he'll never forget. This is the story of Henry Ruggs III and the night that changed his life forever. We have all heard the saying that it takes a while to build something, but it only takes a second to ruin everything. Just like all of us, these rules are legit for the athletes as well, even though, given their talents and earnings, sometimes they forget that. There have been many cases when superstar athletes have been brilliant on the field, but their actions off the field have disappointed many, ruining their careers and sometimes even their lives. We are Sports Owl, and we bring you the story of how Henry Ruggs III replaced the Raiders uniform with a prison uniform. Henry Ruggs III's life story has seen all that, even though he is only 25 years old. He came from being a four-star recruit and an NFL first-round draft pick with a bright future to being a prisoner just because of one poor decision. Henry Ruggs was born in Montgomery, Alabama, and like many kids, he was into sports growing up. Going into high school, he played basketball and ran track and field. He was so good at it that his 100-meter dash time of 10.58 seconds is the Alabama High School Athletic Association's Class 7A record. Having that time as a 17-year-old is something that he could have built on and maybe even made it to the Olympic team if he really dedicated himself to it. Ruggs, instead, chose to use his speed on the football field and made his high school team in his junior year. He credits his friend Roderick Scott for encouraging him to play football, and unfortunately, Scott died in a car accident right when Ruggs started playing football. Ruggs was so fast that he received college offers after playing only two games for the Robert E. Lee High School in his hometown. As a senior, he had 38 catches for 639 yards in nine games, scoring 20 touchdowns for the Crimson Tide's 2017 National Championship victory. As a true freshman at Alabama in 2017, Ruggs had 12 receptions for 229 yards and six touchdowns. Entering his sophomore year in 2018, he stepped up his game even further, breaking up 46 receptions for 741 yards and 11 touchdowns. As a junior in 2019, Ruggs had 40 receptions for 746 receiving yards and 7 receiving touchdowns. During his junior season, Ruggs was also the team's primary kick returner, averaging 23.8 yards per return. In $16.67 million, with a team option for a fifth year, which will eventually be cut short because of the life-changing event Ruggs will put himself into. He had a solid rookie season with the Raiders, given the competition in his position. Ruggs' career catch In Week 5 action against the Kansas City Chiefs, Ruggs recorded his first 100-yard game with 118 receiving yards, which included his first career touchdown, a huge 72-yard reception. In the middle of December, he was placed on the reserve COVID-19 list by the team and reactivated a couple of weeks later. At the time, he started the 2021 season furiously, having 24 receptions, 469 receiving yards, and two touchdowns in seven games. And then, everything changed. What was about to happen would change not just Ruggs' football career, but his life in general. On November 2, 2021, Ruggs was involved in a car accident that killed a young woman and her dog. The accident happened at 3.39 a.m. when Ruggs was driving home in Spring Valley, outside of Las Vegas. The police report said that Ruggs was behind the wheel of a Chevrolet Corvette sports car that was involved in a severe accident with a Toyota RAV4. Police said that when they arrived at the scene, they found that the Toyota had been engulfed in flames and firefighters found the dead victim inside the car. Investigators said that it appeared that the front of the Chevrolet collided with the rear end of the victim's vehicle. The Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department confirmed that Ruggs was driving the Corvette and said that he stayed at the crash scene and showed signs of impairment. He was taken to a local hospital where he was treated for non-life-threatening injuries. It was also confirmed that the victim was 22-year-old Tina Tintor, who was burned to death in the fatal car accident along with her dog Max. Ruggs was charged with driving under the influence, resulting in death and reckless driving. Hours before the incident, Ruggs and his girlfriend, Kiara Kilga Washington, with whom he had a child a year before, 
were seen drinking in a top golf location on the Las Vegas trip in paradise. They left after midnight in a Chevrolet Corvette, and the police provided digital evidence shortly after that, showing that at approximately 3.39 a.m., while driving 156 miles per hour, Ruggs attempted to panic stop the Corvette as he approached the Toyota RAV4 driven by Tintor but lost control, slamming into her at 120 miles per hour. Ruggs and his girlfriend only had minor injuries from the crash, and upon Ruggs' release from the hospital, the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department booked him into the Clark County Detention Center. Ruggs appeared in court the following day, and Judge Joe M. Bonaventure set bail at $150,000. Police reports show that Ruggs had refused to take a field sobriety test, and his blood test, taken two hours following the crash, revealed a blood alcohol content of 0.161%, more than twice the legal limit in Nevada. Ruggs' defense attorney, David Chesnoff, argued that Ruggs was unable to submit a field sobriety test because of his injuries sustained in the accident and claimed that the blood test should not be admissible as evidence since the police did not have probable cause to obtain a blood test. Sounds ridiculous, right? Though hitting the like button is a matter of favor and not doing so is your right, the editor works tirelessly day and night on this creation, and a little appreciation goes a long way. Thank you very much. Justice of the Peace and Zimmerman rejected Chesnoff's arguments and ruled the blood test admissible as evidence in the case. Even before Ruggs appeared in court, he was released by the team. The Raiders, who offer car services for players who might need them and have a player engagement program that warns players of such risks, didn't wait for the courts to act, sending out a brief statement announcing Ruggs' release, saying the team was aware of the crash, devastated by the loss of life, and in the process of gathering information. NFL spokesman Brian McCarthy issued a statement saying, Our hearts go out to the family and friends of the victim of this horrific tragedy. We will continue to gather facts and monitor the matter under our policies, but our thoughts at this time are with those impacted by this devastating incident. Still, the entire football community did not turn their back to Ruggs. Nick Saban, who coached Ruggs at Alabama, said, We're going to support him through it, but we also have a lot of compassion for the victims, and our thoughts and prayers are also with them. Quarterbacks Tua Tungabailoa and Jalen Hurts, who both played with Ruggs at Alabama, also spoke on the matter. Tonga Vailoa said, You'd never think this guy could hurt a soul, so when you see something like that, I mean, I'm still kind of in disbelief. But obviously, my heart goes out to the family that has been affected by it. But my heart also goes out to Henry as my teammate, ex-teammate. Hertz said, It's unfortunate to see a situation like that unfold, and I'll just kind of leave it at that. It hurts my heart for everybody involved. For the accident, Ruggs faced five charges, including four felonies. The court records show that the felonies are DUI resulting in death, DUI resulting in substantial bodily harm, and two reckless driving charges. He was also charged with a misdemeanor of possessing a gun under the influence of alcohol. For the charges, Ruggs was facing up to 46 years in prison. Eric Bowman, the chief deputy district attorney for Clark County, told the court that Ruggs' blood alcohol level was 0.16%, or twice the legal limit. That meant he was in huge trouble, but at least Ruggs could hire the best attorneys who have faced similar cases involving athletes. On May 10, 2023, as part of a plea agreement, Ruggs pleaded guilty to one count of felony DOI resulting in death and one count of misdemeanor vehicular manslaughter. District Attorney Stephen B. Wolfson released a statement after the May hearing at which Ruggs pleaded guilty. I recognize this outcome is not sufficient to punish Ruggs for the loss the Tinter family has suffered, the statement said. But there was a legitimate concern that a court would have suppressed the result of the blood draw. We would have lost the felony DOI charge. We couldn't take that chance. This resolution sends Ruggs to prison for up to 10 years on a felony DOI conviction and brings closure to the Tintor family. The Tinter family also released a statement via their attorneys at that time. Today, like every day, we remember Tina and Max and how they were taken from us that fateful night. No sentence will ever bring Tina and Max back, but we hope that everyone learns from this preventable incident so that no other families suffer as we do. We appreciate the efforts of the district attorney's office to overcome the issues caused by the initial investigation.
and we look forward to putting this behind us so that we can focus on honoring the memories of Tina and Max. Prosecutors said they reached a plea deal due to concerns the blood draw would be thrown out and, with it, the only evidence to support the felony DUI charge. They were not willing to chance Ruggs only facing charges of reckless driving, which could have only resulted in probation. On August 9, 2023, Ruggs was sentenced to 3 to 10 years in prison and was sent to serve his time at High Desert State Prison in Nevada and was assigned inmate number 127 It is still unclear how much time Ruggs will serve in prison, but it will be at least three years. After that period, he would be eligible for probation, but in very few cases, convicts are released before serving at least two-thirds of the maximum penalty. Being 25 years old, Ruggs has a lot of living in front of him, but his football career may be over. Michael Vick, Deshaun Watson, and Plaxico Burris are only a few players who got back in the league after serving time. Whether that will be the future for Ruggs will mainly depend on how much time he will be imprisoned. If he gets out at 27 or 28 years old, he would have a legitimate chance to make a comeback. As we come to the end of Henry Ruggs III's turbulent story, we're reminded of how easily success can slip away and the consequences of our actions. His experiences show us that in the sports world, one wrong move can change everything. But even in tough times, there's space for reflection, learning, and the chance for a fresh start. Join us as we keep exploring the highs and lows of sports, where the stories of athletes and fans weave together. Thanks for being part of this journey with us. Don't forget to subscribe and like Sports Owl for more interesting stories. And share your thoughts in the comments below. Stay tuned for more sports tales coming your way soon.